so this is Fable. At the beginning of the game you start off as a child, and uh, this gives us the opportunity to let you play various elements of the game in a, a kind of a much smaller and easier fashion. Fable's all about it kind of interacting with people and allowing you to choose your own path and do good and evil things. And it's, it's all about the kind of the fun of interacting with people in whatever way you want. And when you're a, a kid at the beginning of the game, we, we use that to kind of introduce you to the, in, into the different concepts. So you've been told that you've got your sister and she's got a birthday and you've got to go and do good and bad deeds around the, the world to uh, earn enough money to go and give her a present. So if you're going, when you go and talk to this kid over here, she's lost her little teddy bear and uh, she can't remember where it is. If you find it, then you'll get a reward and you can go and buy your sister a present. Now, of course, you don't actually have to go and find that teddy bear. You could go and hit the, punch the child or you could um, not bother finding her present or find it and keep it away from her. And those all have different repercussions. And over here we have a guy who's cheating on his wife and he'll pay you if you keep your mouth shut. So again you have a kind of a moral choice there. And that's the kind of the the thing that we're trying to keep throughout um, Fable. The idea that you can choose your own path and do things your own way. And also it's just fun interacting with people in, in different ways and seeing how they how they uh, respond to the way you want to interact with them. Up here as well we have another uh, we have a child who's being bullied by uh, a, a teenager, and what you can do here is you can either help out the bully and start beating the child up yourself, or you can go and uh, uh, fend off the bully and uh, save the child. And either way, again, you kind of you get rewarded, and it, it's entirely up to you how you play that bit of the game. So, as I say, what we're doing here is we're teaching you the basic concepts of of, of the uh, fable and the, and the freedom um, that that gives you. Yep, so you found the teddy bear and you can go and give it back to Rosie if you want. Um, after you've uh, finished with, uh, with uh, Oakvale and you've performed all the uh, different good deeds and you've got enough money to buy your sister a present, you, uh, various things, the, the story then kicks off and some nasty things happen which uh, then cause you to be taken to this place that you can see here called the Guild, which is where you do all your training and this is where you actually get turned into a hero. Once you've learnt all your heroic um, abilities and things, you then start going out on your first quests. One of the, the problems we've had in the past when playing role-playing games is it's very hard to actually... Uh, some people find role-playing games very, very easy, and some people find games very, very difficult. And it's very hard to judge the difficulty level. What we, what we try to do in Fable is make it so that the quests by themselves aren't particularly... aren't too challenging, and uh, but people can play them quite easily. But you can actually make the quests harder for yourself by boasting. So you stand on that platform there and you boast that you can do the quest without any weapons or within a particular time period. And you can choose your own difficulty level and you'll get rewarded uh, depending on what you choose. So here we are on our first quest and because Albion is quite a dangerous place, we've got these traders here who are hiring you to go and take them from one part of Albion to another through a, a dark and mysterious wood. And these are the kind of quests that you can take if you want to go and earn yourself a bit of money. So you're escorting these traders through Dartwood, and they'll actually respond to what they see you do. So if you go and heroically kill one of these creatures here at Alvarine, uh, they'll start clapping and cheering with you. <laughs> they'll uh, respond differently. The combat system in Fable is we've tried to make it as action-packed and varied as possible. You can uh, develop your abilities in hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat using a sword or um, using a bow or using magic. And you can combine up all these different things. And depending on how good at them you, you, you get, you, yeah, you'll learn different abilities. Any green blobs that you see the hero picking up are experience orbs, and you can use these later to extend your abilities. So here we're using the bow to go and clear out a field of exploding mushrooms from a distance, um, so that you can go and lead the traders through, and they won't die. And as you get better and better with the bow, you'll develop more and more abilities with it. So here we are using some magic to play. and again, as you can see, the, uh, the player is managing to switch between using magic, using the bow, and using melee weapons very, very quickly. So you can develop your own combat style, uh, depending on your particular weapon. And also, depending on uh, what uh, experience you spend on different things, you'll get different magical abilities. There are, I think there are 18 different magical abilities. 
this is some of the flourishes that you develop uh, in, in hand to hand combat and spend experience on those. So you'll, uh, each player will hopefully develop a completely different set of abilities depending on how he plays the game and what preferences he has. Also we've got group combat here, so you just use a force push spell to go and uh, knock everybody out and the combat system or the melee combat works uh, very well with multiple combatants as well so you can switch, com uh, switch combatants and, uh, and show off in that way. And here we are le leading the uh, traders hopefully through to the uh, end of the mission. So you can spend your experience in whatever way you like. Uh, for example, with the bow, you can learn cool abilities like shooting off people's heads. Um, but it's entirely up to you if you want to spend it on magic or on your um, melee combat to learn more flourishes or on uh, your, your bow abilities. That's right. Not long to go now, now. Some of the creatures in uh, Albion are a little more challenging than bandits and uh, little balverines. You've got the Earth Troll here, and different creatures have different weaknesses and different abilities. And you have to get, work out how best to defeat them using the combination of abilities that you've developed. So the Earth Trolls are much, much easier to take out from a bit of a distance. Uh, some creatures are much better if you use melee combat with them. And once you've finished with a, a particular quest, the you can then go back to a town and see how people then perceive you. One of the key features of Fable, as we mentioned in the uh, Oak Vale section, was um, how you interact with people and how people respond to you. A lot of the work that we've put into Fable has been in this simulation of the world. The world is going on while you're on quests and while you're doing various things. So people have their own family lives, they, they go to pubs to go and uh, get, get drunk, they go to sleep, they've got children, and you can get involved and immerse yourself in all these different things and uh, see how you want to get involved. We have another hero here called Briar Rose who at this point in the game is much more experienced hero than you are. And she's kind of mocking you here. And she's telling you that... Um, Depending on how much Next renown you know, you've got, people will, 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 will um, get a respect you more or less in the game. And as you, as you get quests, for example, as you complete a quest, you'll get everywhere. a trophy, which you can then go and show to people and prove how cool you are. No, so if you I'm kind of carry around a big wasp head around town, people will think that you're a, a pretty damn good hero because you've been saving them from nasty, from, from nasty creatures. Now, one of the other... Um, things that that ties into is this um, system of expressions that we've got. Great. Depending it's on how uh, right. what you've been doing in the game, you'll learn different ways of interacting with people. So you can oh, flirt with people, wow. um, you can sneer at people, you can fart at people, um, you can make various inappropriate sexual advances if you've uh, learned those particular abilities. All I ask is and a people respond gesture. <laughs> in, in, a, in a number of different yeah. ways, depending on. Um, what they perceive you are like. If you've been nasty to people in the past, then they'll be a bit wary of you. If you've been flirting with a particular, the, the same person right, for a very you. long time, eventually you could get married to them. For if you start giving them gifts and uh, start wooing them. Likewise, if you've been very, very nasty to people and you start trying to flirt with them, for example, then they, they, they're a bit suspicious. Um, and it, it, it's also all based on your appearance and your renown as well. So if you wander around <laughs> town naked, when nobody knows who you are, hey. and start to flirt people, and they'll just find it funny. If you start being nasty to people while you're running around town, while you're naked, then they'll just find it a bit creepy, really. But as I say, it's entirely up to you what you do around town, and um, because you can interact with the, the social systems that are going on, you can, for example, wander into a school while you're naked, and um, just to see how children will respond to you. And they think it's funny at the moment. But if you start them kind of sneering at them and being nasty, then they find it a little bit more scary and uh, they'll be a bit more aware of you in the future. Things change quite a bit if you're more famous and you've been doing cool things around the world. Your appearance also very much affects how people um, perceive you and respond to you. And that's partly affected by the clothing and the hairstyles that you can choose in the game. And also your appearance is very much affected by how you play the game as well. Uh, if you've got lots of money, everybody knows who you are, um, and, you've been, and you've, got, you've got a house, for example, and you've bought a house or you've, you've bought lots of shops, everybody will know who you are, and if you start flirting with uh, women, they'll, they'll find you quite an attractive prospect. And as I said, you can get married, you can, um, your wife will move into your house, you busy um, later. and uh, you can have a lovely home life while you're off doing quests and uh, lots of other things as well.